I love that it is crock pot season. So today we're making the best chicken stew recipe, so come, come on, on in. in. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Shotgun Red, and I'm Sheila. I'm Jennifer. And we are in crock pot season, and we are going to have a recipe that you are going to love. Oh my gosh. This you know, is love. There is nothing better than coming home to that smell of something cooking yummy in the crock pot. Smell-o-vision. That's right, smell-o-vision, and it, it just fills the house, and this is one of those recipes, and of course... You know, it's so easy. You can make it in the morning before you go to work, come home, and the whole thing would be all ready to go. No fuss, no muss. We're just going to have some dinner, and everybody will be happy. You can put it on and then go read your book or That's whatever. Right. Just go take another nap like yeah. I like to Take do. a nap like <laughs> Sheila. Go hit the recliner. <laughs> That's me. That's right. <laughs> you know, Steve loved those crock pot recipes too. I mean, he, he was always making slow cooker recipes because he, he, he loved, loved that. He got all that stuff when he's all hyper in the morning after he had his coffee. And then he, <laughs> he'd let that a, sit all day. No, no, he'd call it like a uh, dump crock pot because he'd just dump it in there. And then just let it cook all day. And that's kind of what we're going to do today. So we're going to show you how it's done. All right, so we got the lid off the crock pot and we spray the inside of our crock pot with a little bit of non stick cooking right. spray. Kind of keeps things. I know a lot of people will use the liners and whatnot you're welcome to do that but we just put a little non-stick spray in there and the first thing we had a pound and a half of the petite gold potatoes and they, they pretty much come in a pound and a half bag and then we just had Sheila slice these in half this morning mm -hmm. and so we're gonna put those in first then we have some carrots here which, which baby carrots which we sliced these in half and that was like a one pound bag. It was. That's what they come in yeah. pretty much, the little bags. And uh, that equals what? Two cups? Yeah, it's two cups. Two cups of baby carrots. Baby carrots. And look how colorful. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila, they're a color. Oh, yeah. And then we got our celery. We're doing Which is one cup. One cup of celery. And we did those fine. You can see we, we chopped those down. And I'll show you that. And then we've got some white mushrooms. And I mean, you could use any kind of mushroom you'd like, but we just got the white. We sliced them in half and we're just gonna dump those in there. And I like to put all the veggies in the bottom. I know, and they put you know, them. and it starts filling up fast. This is gonna be a nice, and then you can always like carve out some spots for the chicken, but that's what I like to do. We've got onions, one medium onion, and we're gonna put that in there. Love these dump and goes. So. We've got our vegetables in there and we're gonna put our chicken now. We've got our chicken that we chopped up and we just chopped these into quarters. And uh, I mean, if you like, I like big chunks and I want, if I'm making a stew, I want big chunks. If I'm making a soup, I'll make a little bit of smaller chunks, but looks good. So we're just gonna I'll take dump it either that. way. <laughs> <laughs> and Sheila will eat it either way. I will. And All so right. then we're going to take our tomatoes. We have just some diced tomatoes, one can, and we're gonna pour that over the top. And we also have some tomato puree. We're gonna use half of this can of tomato puree. There we go. Cause that was good. It, or you could use, a, we couldn't find a small can of tomato puree. So, it, you know, if you can't find it, we just use a half can of that. We'll use it for something else. Did you wash your hands? Yeah, I just did. Well, thank goodness. <laughs> got, I gotta get, wash all that chicken juice off there. You can't have that on there. That's right. Okay, so now I need uh, my minced garlic, and I need that little, let me borrow that yeah. little spoon. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. And this is just a tablespoon. Just use your fingers. And then we've got one teaspoon of granulated chicken bouillon, and we're just gonna sprinkle that on for some flavor. All right, so in here, yeah. in here, in here, in here, we have some paprika, and we got about a teaspoon of that. We got a half a teaspoon of pepper, and a half a teaspoon of some thyme, and this is a fresh thyme. I couldn't find any dried thyme, so I just, Put a little fresh in there and I'm just gonna mix that up and I'm gonna sprinkle that on. Aww. And remember that recipe is gonna be right down below this video. So if you have any questions about what we're measuring and putting in here. <laughs> and then we've got some bay leaves. I'm just gonna put, these are small. You can put two big large ones or just a few and I'm just gonna put those in cause I'm gonna pour the liquid or Sheila's gonna pour the liquid yes. on top of that. And this is our chicken broth. 
And this is how big? 32 ounces? 32 ounce. So four cups of chicken broth. And that's pretty much it for what you're going to put in it. Now, we're going to put this on high for about four to six hours, but we're going to check it at four hours and, and make sure and see where the vegetables are at. And, and make sure you take these things out when you start to eat. That's right. You want to take those bay leaves out too. But we're also going to make a slurry to thicken up our stew uh, a little bit. But we're going to see what it looks like here about four hours. We'll check it again and then we'll come back and show you. We're going to do the slurry and we will go from there. And then we'll eat. And then we're going to eat. Definitely. We'll be back. Okay, so we just checked the stew and it looks pretty good. I'm just going to add this in here and start making ourselves a slurry and this is just cornstarch. Just do a little at a time because that helps it not be so clumpy, you know? Right. Right. <laughs> she looks like right. Right. <clears throat> We're getting hungry again. It's time for our four hour feeding. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was getting like, oh, that's stuck in there a little bit. Get off there. Your dad really does have a four hour feeding. He does. Right? He comes over here. What, what'd you guys make? <laughs> He's ready to eat. Yeah. Mm. So, we're going to just mix this up a little bit. And we're just going to pour this right in here. And this is going to help thicken up the stew. And we'll stir it a little bit. Look at that. Been on high for about five hours. And so we're going to cook this for another 30 minutes and let this thicken up a little bit. And it should be ready to go. I can see a big pan of cornbread with this. Oh, yeah. You know that skillet cornbread? Oh, yeah, the skillet cornbread would be really good with it. Doesn't that look good, Sheila? It does. Mm. So yummy. Yum. All right, I think we should dish it up. What do you think? I think so. All right. Wow, we put a little salt and pepper and garlic powder in it uh, right before we took it over here and dished it up and sprinkled that cheese on there. Yeah, and it makes you want to just sop it up. Doesn't it? Just sop it. Oh. You ready to sop Shredded it? Parmesan cheese. Oh, yeah. Mom's over yeah. here. She's hungry, yeah. too. Yeah. You can hear her. She's like, here. Parsley. <laughs> She's here. Mmm, I'm ready. You can dump that in there. Yum. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Good with bread. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Worth, worth it. That's worth the wait. Delicious. Look at cheese. Oh, my gosh. You know, everybody's going to love that. Easy. Mm -hmm. And Steve would say, is this the best chicken stew recipe? If, if it, it ain't, ain't, it ought to be. be. Thanks again for watching and liking and sharing. And subscribing. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And visit shotgunred.com. We've got all of our new stuff on our new store there. And you can get all the information on t-shirts and dolls and the cookbook. Woohoo! So check that out. It's available on Amazon right now. And we're so excited about that. Um, and I, I'm thrilled. I know. It's, it's just amazing. So we're so happy that we were able to do that. And we're going to continue. We've got some more coming down the road so stay tuned join our free membership and we'll keep you posted and all the people that has bought this book so far thank you very much thank you we appreciate it, it it's it's been a, a labor of love it for is. us and it's been you know pretty much all year you know if you've never done a book like that it, it's definitely a learning experience it is. <laughs> so we've had a lot of fun and um i know that steve would be proud he would you know so we really appreciate you and we'll see you next time right here on cooking with shotgun red bye, bye. Yeah. all right i'm gonna have some more of this yeah. mommy gonna have some of this oh yeah mm. i can't wait here's a carrot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well that's she she and jen jen them two girls having too much fun we hope you enjoy this recipe and we really hope you subscribe to our channel that's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe. Then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.